everyone, this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon. So today we're going to have a look at Oracle of the Hecateum Path. This is by Ken Payne and Chris Butler and is a low Scarabeo deck. Now this I received um, from Simon who actually received this from Cheryl over at Oneness Emporium. Um, and she kindly said, as it wasn't something he would would use, that um, he could pass it pass it on to a friend. So um, that's how I've come to have this deck. Um, but it has actually come from Cheryl's shop. Um, so she has an online shop, uh, Oneness Emporium. I will link her shop below where you can find this deck and lots of others and books and all sorts of really cool things um, in her shop. So, yeah. So this is the box. It's glossy. Oracle of the Hecateum Path. We've got Ken Payne and Chris Butler. So Ken Payne wrote the guidebook and Chris Butler did the artwork, I think. So book and 60 oracle cards. From the dark depths of the night sky emerges a unique oracle deck based on the figure of Hecate, the key bearer. Now, I say Hecate. Some people say Hecate. Um, even Hecate, I've heard, but... I say Hecate, so, you know, and she's a Greek um, goddess, so the box opens like that and it's just black inside and you've got like a, a little ribbon to pull the deck and book out. So we've got um, a small book as well, being Los Scarabao, it's in multiple languages, so I think we have... I'm not sure now. I think we have about 40 pages. Yeah, 40 pages in English. So it gives a description of each card. There's no pictures or anything. Um, but it gives you, like here, the Holy Demon and Lower Realm Protection. Um, Lampardes companionship and you've got like a little write up for each one so you've actually got enough there to um, go on um, near the beginning of the book there are a couple of spreads as well the twin torches spread and the crossroads spread how to use this deck um, there is also this uh, poem here that says of night enrobed stand at the crossroad hounds baying wind swaying the tree bell creaks a night owl shrieks and from your dreams hecate speaks torches flicker and black hounds sing hecate your goddess blessings i bring serpents dance and moonlight glimmer aconite bloom and magic shimmer meet me at the crossroads and then we've got an introduction here which says Hecate is a very complex, misunderstood and even feared goddess. She is the torchbearer, the cosmic world soul, the guide and companion, mistress of the restless dead, who rules over heavens, earth and sea and the key bearer who stands at the crossroads of life, death and rebirth. A vast ranging deity who has adapted to many cultures and spanned the centuries. Whether she has made herself known to you or you are actively and humbly seeking her guidance, the Oracle of the Hecatean Path has been designed to connect the user with her myriad forms and energies, as well as those other divine and spiritual entities that she so readily interacts with. So that is kind of saying that well, I'm taking that as kind of, you need to use this oracle, be working with Hecate or planning to work with Hecate. But I don't know. I don't work with Hecate, but I'm go I am going to use this oracle anyway, because I think it could be used um, just as a normal um, oracle. 
in or, or as an oracle in the normal way um but obviously you know you you decide what what you think guys don't know if i can bring the camera in a little bit or whether it'll be too much So obviously the cards are oracles. Well, I say oracle size. They're not that big actually. This is a low scarabeo um, tarot card. So they're only a little bit taller, but quite a bit wider. So not huge for oracle cards. Um, these are backs. Quite nice backs. Um, card stock is glossy. Um, but quite nice it's flexible without being too thin so i think it would be good if you riffle shuffle so let's start so now probably some of these i'm going to mispronounce <laughs> because they're like greek deities and stuff um so we've got the first card number one prostistos primordial origins how cool that looks. This one is Pameta, mother of ale. Mother of all, mother of ale. <laughs> mother of all, nurturing. Oh my God, ale, not ale from her breasts. I don't think so. Um, so that's number two. Number three is Enodia of the Crossroads Choices. I like the colours here. And then we have four is Melano, dark minded. Look her, she's half and half, half white, half black. So that kind of reminds me of hell. The goddess hell so it says at the bottom dichotomy that's quite a cool card oh wow look at this five is gorgo the grim and fear that's quite scary isn't it it's obviously like like medusa brimo the angry one Fury. Looks like an angry card too, doesn't it? Like broken glass and stuff. We have Bulboraphoria. <laughs> Later, Eater of Filth. Oh, that sounds gross, doesn't it? Eater of Filth. Cleansing. Yeah, you would need to be cleansed, wouldn't you? <laughs> Then we have Potnia Theron, Lady of Wild Beasts, Nature. I like that one. It's cool. Cthonia of the Earth, Stability. As I said, I could be pronouncing some of these wrongly, guys, so... Now, this is Inalia of the Sea, Emotions. That's a cool card, the way she's there with the like trident and the sea here. We have Urania, the Heavenly One, Purity. Propylia, one before the gate, guardian. Because I'm wondering, I've got um, a, an indie deck that was produced by Forest Moon Maiden here on YouTube that is Persephone's Garden um, Tarot, and it might go with this maybe because of the Greek uh, theme. I can try it anyway. Apotro, Apotropaios. Possibly 
Averter of evil, deflection. Leina, the lioness, strength. Look at the colours in that, the yellows and oranges. I love the lions too. It's really like a, quite a good chariot card. Tarot. Heros, Pyre or Pia, Sacred Fire, Unity. I'm sure I'm butchering half of these names, you know. Dodophorus, Torchbearer, Guidance. Look at the light of that, like going down a tunnel. It's like a train tunnel. <laughs> Cleducos, key bearer, unlocking. Close eye, spinner of fate, destiny. Psychopomp, soul guide, transition, that's quite cool. Card. Philo Philaremos, lover of solitude, retreat. I like that. Look how she looks quite kind of ghosty. You can see through her and with her dog there. I really like that one. Philaremos, maybe it is Philaremos. I don't know. <laughs> Nycteria of the night. Secrets. Uh, Eroto Tokia, <laughs> bearer of love, desires. Pandotira, all giver, abundance. the light off of these because of the glare. Sotira, saviour, salvation. Look how bright that looks. Anasa Pharmacodon. Anasa Pharmacodon, queen of witches, sovereignty. That's a cool one. I, oh, Epiphanestate Thea, most manifest goddess, diversity. I'm sure I'm completely wrecking these names. <laughs> Devotee, dedication. The path, journey, I like that. Look at the face in the moon too. New moon, beginnings, that's cool too. Full moon, illumination. Yeah, I like these moon cards. And the dark moon, release. Love that with the wolves, like howling at the moon. Hecate's, Hecate's deep non, dipe non, <laughs> sacrifice anyway. <laughs> oh, I love this, look, black hound, loyalty, anything with a black dog in it, because you've all heard my black dog story, you know, my dad and the whole black shuck thing. So anything with a black dog and red eyes, I love it. It's just got a th it. It always pulls me if there's a card like this in a deck. So the black hound and loyalty, love it. Uh, Pharmacia, knowledge. Voces, magicai. Raising power, 
It's quite a cool one. Cords, bondage. That'd be quite powerful, possibly, in a reading, you know, the cords and bondage. Dagger, severance. The cave, incubation, I love that. Temple at Lagina, sacredness. Axis Mundi, Crux, that's pretty cool. Hecate's Wheel, Cycles. Aconite, Death, oh I love that. Aconite of course is poison, poisonous plant. The Mysteries, Initiation. Asteria, dreams. I like that. Colours. Perseus, destruction. Juice, honours. It's quite a cool card. Look at that bird. The way the light is on these cards too, how the artwork has been done. Demeter, loss. Core, Persephone, growth. I like that one, look at the butterfly here. So it's like, um, when she's sort of in the realm of the living and when she's in the realm of the dead. Artemis, independence. Dionysus, ecstasy, of course. Hermes, messages. Kerberos. Obstacles, Cerberus, Kerberos, I thought it was Cerberus, maybe you, it's, the, it's a K but you still pronounce it Cerberus, unless I'm completely wrong, but anyway, it's the three-headed dog. The Restless Dead, this is a cool card, Unresolved Past, I love that. Clytius, this is defeat, lots of flames in that one, this one is Medea, and magic, I love that, it's very cool, Kirke, transformation, Lampardes, companionship. Cool. Holy Daemon. Is it Tower Realm? Protection or Lower Realm? It's Lower Realm. It's me, guys. It's Lower Realm. Holy Daemon, Lower Realm protection and holy demon middle realm healing that's cool you've got the three cards for the different realms and holy demon upper realm divinity so that is the whole deck guys it's a pretty cool deck as i said i don't work with hecate but I'm going to give this deck a go anyway, and like I said, it might pair with my um, Persephone's Garden 
um, tarot deck. So um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, as I said, I will put um, the link for Cheryl's shop down below. Um, Cheryl stocks this one along with like many other decks and books and other things like candles and even socks and you know all sorts of cool stuff so yeah you know go along and have a look at her shop and yeah I will be back soon um, with another probably walk through or it might be a VR because I'm planning to do a VR to uh, Simon's um, CC&C was it CC&C no it wasn't it was his premiere <laughs> Um, the 10 sort of best oracle decks of all time in his like collection so um, I'm planning to do that I've just got to um, list my oracle decks and put them in order from 10 to 1 so we'll see but that might be my next one anyway um, I hope everyone's doing really well and I will talk to you all soon Bye for now.